What's happening guys, this is James Blonde with MMOHUD.com with a first look refresher on Lost Saga, a free-to-play 3D beat-em-up style MMO now published by WeMade. Previously it was published by OG Planet, so we, we decided to take another look at it because since our last first look was over three years ago, a lot has changed in the game, and since the game is being republished by WeMade, they've, uh, they've got the servers back online and they're making a lot of changes, and oop, missed it and adding uh, a lot of new features to the game, making it so much better than it w ever was before. Uh, for example, like this hero that I'm playing right here, the Devil Ranger, and uh, about 15 other heroes that have been added since April. So we'll take a look at some of the new heroes, play a little bit of Deathmatch, take a look at the game, and uh, talk about some of the basics, as well as what new features that will be available to uh, players very soon. Okay, so starting off, this is how you get beaten, torn to pieces. <laughs> Wow. Oh, and he even apologized for it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, so there's about 50 different heroes you can choose from in the game. There's, Like I said, there's about 15 new heroes, and uh, there are about three to four different types of heroes you can play. You can play heroes that are ranged, like this one. My hero actually uses the, the primary hit as a... Uh, he uses his sort of a crossbow there to target you from a distance, which you gotta hold D in order to, to do that. The controls are a little weird on this game. Uh, they're not like other brawlers that I'm used to. Uh, the controls are your movement keys and A, S, and D. So S is actually gonna block, D is gonna do your attack, and A is going to jump and pick up items. And I'll talk a little bit more about picking up items in a minute. That one I definitely don't want to pick up right this second. I'm trying to kill this guy. See, I got him in as a ranged shot there. And the trick is, is that each one of the heroes is actually pretty unique. And you kind of have to go in there and train with them and learn how they, how they work, how they attack with their skills, and, and how to use those effectively, uh, just like you would do in any other fighting game. Ah, I died. So, uh, like I said, there's four different style classes of heroes out of the 50 that there are. Uh, this one's going to be actually a melee uh, hero. This one is a gladiator. This is one of the new heroes added to the game. And uh, like the other one before, like I said, it's a ranged. They also have magic-based heroes. Um, and then they have special attack based heroes like, you know, a necromancer or something like that. Basically, you're going to use special attacks that, uh, that work that way. So the way the special attacks work, or I guess your skills and abilities are, you'll notice that I have kind of a hot bar down there at the bottom. And uh, you just hit various versions of A, S, and D. Like I'll use S, D on this guy if I can. And uh, it's kind of a charge attack that I use there. I actually hit him with it. But uh, you use those as uh, uh, skill shots tried that one as well, that one didn't actually work out. Not real familiar with this character yet, but, uh, and as you play with the character and go through rounds, ooh, don't want to fall off, um, you level up the characters individually. So it may be good to stick with a character for a little while and try to get used to one if you're wanting to, uh, to level them up. And uh, yeah, see like that, I had no idea what that was going to do, but it looks like it hurts if I hit him. And so that's why it's actually important to go in there and try to get familiar with your hero and maybe play a couple rounds with him. And as you play with each one of the in individual heroes, you actually level them up accordingly. So each one of your heroes will level up, and after the end of the round, it'll actually show you how each one of your heroes levels up. So one unique thing about the game that I thought was really cool is that if you notice my skills, uh, each one of those skills is actually bound to a piece of gear that your hero is wearing. So you'll notice that my AS skill there is actually associated with my weapon, or I'm sorry, my trinket. And AD is associated with my helmet, ASD is associated with my armor, and SD is associated with my weapon. So the neat thing is once we get low enough health, it works a lot like Super Smash Brothers in that uh, uh, you beat the other opponents all the way down and then you start losing your gear. So you'll notice that uh, we'll start losing our gear and getting all the way down to pretty much our boxers. And uh, oh, there's the game. And so I'll be able to talk a little bit more about that as soon as we get back into match, but for now it's going to give us a rank, which gave me an A rank, which I, that's a little courteous because I don't think I did that good. But it'll also award points to uh, the person who does the most damage, successful defense, total combo, and hit received, which is actually all the same character there. And then also my, uh, my individual heroes will get leveled up as well as my overall class ranking, which I assume has to do with the matchmaking system in the game, but that's just speculation because it seems like um, you get matched up with people that are higher level than you regardless, so I don't know exactly how to set it up to where you can make sure that you're playing against players on similar levels in terms of overall uh, 
I guess overall ranking because like I said you can individually level up your characters and I understand so you may go up against like a level 10 this or that oh look we're going to team deathmatch now that works and uh, but their overall ranking may not be any different than yours they may have just only been playing that character our hero so cool so this is like a military themed map this is pretty neat and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose let's see here I guess I'll go with the uh, the the werewolf guy because he's pretty cool too I actually mess with him a little bit in the training and uh, he's pretty quick so when you dash like the oh, crap uh, so yeah there's obviously obstacles in the maps that you have to worry about and uh, if you fall off you don't die obviously you just take a little bit of uh, damage to your health and uh, there's not really any way of healing yourself in the game. There's actually a new champion called the Cyber Medic that allows uh, allows for healing. I'm not sure if it's healing themselves or anything like that. I don't know because no other champion can actually do that. So I don't know exactly how that's fair. Especially since, like for example, in this match I can switch, which I probably need to. I can switch champions by hitting one of the hotkeys at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or actually not ten, but minus and. Uh, um, plus, and see, I switched to the football player, which is actually a really fun melee champion. So I, <laughs> I can kick a field goal like that. That's how you use that skill. And uh, I need to get out of here because I'm, I'm uh, not too, doing too good on health. So I'm going to try to find somebody that's a little bit weaker and take them down. So back to what I was saying earlier about the, uh, the gear and how that works. Essentially, uh, like I said, each piece of gear has its own skill associated with that. So like for example, my helmet has, uh, will absorb shock. Um, my little trinket, which is a water bottle, probably gives me sort of uh, a buff. And my ASD, which happens to be my uh, armor, will uh, let me kick the field goal and then my SD which is my weapon will allow me to kind of rush and slam into them. So if I get down on my boxers like I am, I'm just holding my football, <laughs> I can actually run around and pick up different items that are laying around. So if they're not mine, that's okay, I can pick them up because I will gain that skill. I'll try out the Mecromancer. I actually haven't tried this guy out yet. So this one's pretty neat. I've seen other people use him. He kind of summons these little bats. But the only items that are actually bound to the hero are the weapons, so uh, yeah, essentially you can look at the heroes as presets, uh, as a loadout for skills, and uh, which is neat because you can actually essentially brew up your own character from the get-go. You can, you can start out with the body and add the trinkets or whatever you want to it um, after. So you can start with, like, say, the Mecromancer and then take off all of his gear and add what you want to, to get some of the skills you want, whether it's like turning into a werewolf, uh, well, actually, you can't do that because that's, I think that's associated with that guy's uh, weapon. But you can, uh, um, you know, say if I wanted the football player's, like, running skill, uh, like the, the field goal skill, I can, you know, put a football helmet on or whatever it may be. Uh, you kind of get what I'm saying. Here, so. And so another neat thing that you'll notice uh, a lot of these characters doing, wow, that's a big mess of people, uh, is that you'll they'll switch from character to character like right in the middle of a combo so you can actually do that right in the middle of a combo and finish that off so if you have a character that'll like pop you up in the air you can switch to another character that may like do something um, in terms of um, hitting them when they land like the assassin or something like actually poison so uh, you can poison them before they get up or you can poison them and then switch to another character and I don't know trap them somehow but uh, it's pretty neat and you kind of figure that out as whoa I'm down to nothing you kind of figure that out as you get more familiar with the characters and continue to play the game. Now, as each character levels, uh, you can actually add attributes to that character. So, like, for example, this is the gladiator here. Once I'm level 12, uh, you can automatically assume that I've leveled up that character and his individual attributes. So, that's definitely a nice feature in the game, especially once you figure out what champions or heroes that you, uh, you really like to play. If you haven't already made your own. Ah, oh, I fell off already. <laughs> So I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about the, some of the new game modes that will be featured soon. So some of the new game modes that we recently seen is, is uh, prisoner mode, which is pretty cool. Basically, you just work with teammates to hold opponent, opponents captive or stop them from respawning by throwing them off the map once you uh, break their health all the way down. And then, whoa, that was really high. Threw that a long ways up. And then you have crusade mode, which is essentially a uh, co-op PVE where you're fighting... <laughs> We're fighting right neck and neck here, and I'm beating him down. Oh, I'm gonna pick up his stuff. I'm gonna pick up his clothes. There we go. 
this is exactly what I can do. And see, you can see my skills changing there at the bottom. So now I'm essentially a Mechromancer. But I don't have any health, so I'm, I'm about to die, probably. But Crusade Mode is essentially like a co-op PvE. And then uh, now you have... The ones that you don't have featured yet are going to be Champion Mode, which is pretty cool, because it's actually a 1v1. And it's set up a lot like Street Fighter. What I'll do is I'll put a, a little a preview of it in the in the bottom corner of the screen here. But yeah, it's set up like Street Fighter, and then you have spectators that basically wager for or against you, or they actually vote for or against you, see who wins, and they can actually get points by doing that, and they don't even have, have to play. But it is set up on a rotation to where it kind of rotates in and out of challengers while the champion remains in the same spot. And in that mode, you don't have to worry about like obstacles or falling off. It's just straight up classic fight mode uh, combat. But yeah, it's a cool take on the 2D fighting style, and it gives players a chance at you know scoring some easy GP. Oh, looks like the match is over. And, uh, you know, just while they're spectating by voting for the winner, they actually get GP. And so, another cool game mode is Power Stone. That one's actually going to be available very soon. And that one is set up as a team-based mode with two Power Stones that look like totems. Kind of like set up at various places in the map. And one's yours and one's the opposing team's. And the idea is to protect yours and try to destroy the enemies. It's neat because you destroy the enemy's power stone by punching it or attacking it like you would any other enemy. But at the same time, punching your own power stone will prevent it from taking damage from your enemies as they are attacking it. So that's kind of a cool little setup there. That game mode is based around the strategy that, uh, you know, whether or not you want to go after the enemy's power stone or set back and protect your own. And uh, so th these are the two brand new game modes that uh, you'll have access to actually really soon. I'm not exactly sure when, probably like as this video is getting uploaded. But there are plenty of new uh, game modes that have been introduced to the game since it was republished by Wii Made. And if it's, it's, if it's been a while since you've played the game, get in and check it out. See the huge improvements uh, made to the game. And for more information about the game, you can always check out the updated game profile at MMOHead.com. Thanks for watching, guys. But until next time, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.